Hi everybody and welcome. I am so glad that you're here. Today we're gonna continue our series of the Strelitzia plant that we love so much and it's so amazing. So it's blooming right now. You can see the bloom right there and it's so beautiful. I mean, this is one of my favorite plants ever. You guys know that. And so there's a playlist of the Strelitzia, the bird of paradise plant. So you can check all the tips and tricks and stuff that we have been sharing, propagating, dividing and doing all kinds of stuff, right? The fertilizer that we use, everything. But today is gonna be an update on the plant, especially the bloom, because this plant is famous for its blooming. That's why they, many places, they nickname it the bird of paradise, because it looks like a bird. And it is like a paradise, because the colors that you're gonna be getting in this plant are spectacular. How is it that from a plant, a plant just like this, that is all, you know, green and beautiful very tropical but then you get this amazing bird like flower that is in orange and purple and it has different structure to it so you will see like spikes and all kinds of stuff but let's go ahead and check it out because it's just amazing so the flower is almost nine feet high the stem of the flower right so it is incredible and because it is touching some of the curtain rod, it, it, it um, modify a little bit the shape, but you can see how spectacular it is. All the brilliant, the, the brilliant, amazing colors that it has, so bright. I just love it. And from this stem, you can actually cut it, put it then in water, but I'm just gonna leave it there and just enjoy it until it actually fades away it might last like almost two months so it actually lasts for for a pretty long time i know that i have had it even longer and if you are in the tropic and you're in the zone 10 that is more or less what the property likes and enjoys tropic then you will have blooms all year long but because we are in maryland zone 7 and we have the plant indoors all the time so we're not providing them the perfect environment the tropical environment so we get a bloom maybe once a year or twice a year and when they come the bloom they do last for a pretty good amount of time now this bloom has been blooming because they start opening very slowly it has been opening for almost a month so i would say three weeks to four weeks now it's fully open and then it will stay there for another month until it fades away so then i get to enjoy it for two months or a little bit more that's pretty spectacular that i think that's a good a good amount of a bloom i love it so let me show you in more close-up so you can see the beautiful details that the plant has and the flower has it's just spectacular and we're gonna also then take some of the leaves off because they're a little bit um faded or burnt in the outside and we can put it then in a pot and i can actually enjoy it as a centerpiece so in here you can see the amazing flower you can see that it has like a dust like in the outside and it is incredible because if you want it to open a little bit more you know you can actually spray it with water and that might help it a little bit more to open up but it opens um slowly if you leave it how it is you know without spraying with water or anything not altering and that's what i did and now i get to enjoy it a little bit longer and so you will see that the petals at the end over here, they actually are folded and that was because it was touching the curtain rod. But you can enjoy the amazing structure that it has. You see that it has different colors. And I mean, this is spectacular. God is so amazing giving us this beauty and for us to enjoy. You see those bright orange colors and also the bright purple color. Some of them are fading already because it's already it has been a month since it has been bloomed, since the bloom. But you can see over here how you have that spike at the end, the different structure, how it's like a folded fan at the top and then it goes into the skinny at the bottom. And then the different intercalating of the orange and then the purple and then the orange and purple and it keeps on going on. And that's why they call it like a bird of paradise because it looks like a bird. Like this is the bird head and that's the, the peak, the top of the head of the bird with all that plumage of the bird. It just looks spectacular. Incredibly spectacular. God is so amazing and we get to enjoy this beauty. This is one of my 
top, top, top favorite flowers in the whole wide world. You can see the spikes at the end, how incredible it is. There's so much intricate detail in this flower. It's incredible, 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 incredible. Totally awesome. So this stem um, of the flower, you will see that it just keeps going on and on and on and on. And where it comes out, it will be from here, the same way of the leaves where the leaves come out. I mentioned this before in a previous video, whenever you cut the leaves, I have seen many people that they cut the leaves all the way to the end. And um, I mentioned before, and you can check that video in more detail, that you should not cut your leaves all the way at the end. When you're pruning your leaves, you should cut it right on top of where you see that there's gonna be a little tiny node. So that node is where, you know, there's gonna be something else coming up. So if I were to cut, I wanna cut this, you know, I, I'm gonna cut just right here at the top where I see that there's a node. I'm not gonna cut over here because if I cut over here, I'm cutting also this other leaf that I have over here. So as you can see, we have a, a the leaves pretty big and the plant is pretty big. This is like nine feet high. And this will be the, the maximum I think that the plant will grow. Usually they grow to seven feet. So ours grew a little bit more. And I'm talking about the Strelitzia reginae. That's why you see that the flower is in orange. If you're talking about the Strelitzia nicolae, which is gonna be the flower in purple and white, that's a different plant and that can grow up to 30 feet. We have Estralesia Nicolae, so let me just give you a little sneak peek right over here. That is Estralesia Nicolae. And I will do another video about the difference between them, but you can actually see the leaves are pretty different than the Estralesia Reginae that we have over here. And so the Estralesia Reginae, this is the one that we have divided many times, that we have multiple around the house, and I love it so much. And we have actually shaped it into having that fan-like structure. You can see that it has that fan-like structure over here. You can see that our pot, and this is actually status something, our pot actually has now a aluminum foil, and it's because of our cat Cordelia. So um, we didn't have a cat before, now we do. And so to protect the soil, so if you are also having a pet at home, this is a tip then for you. You can put aluminum foil on your soil and that helps and protects your soil from the, you know, the cats, your pets, to actually go on top of your soil and do their necessities in there or just play with the soil. So that protects your plant. And that's how we, what we have been doing with our plant. That's the other Strelitzia over here and our beautiful, um, amazing passion fruit plant over there. And that's what we have been doing with our plants. We have been putting them in that aluminum foil and it has protected them pretty, pretty well. I'm gonna cut today this over here because it is, um, you know, dead and it doesn't look that great. And also that over here, because the weight of the plant, I can see that the weight of the plant is going to that side. And I want to keep the plant as I have been training it, you know, to have that fan-like. So that's what I do. Usually I just keep removing the ones in the side. And then the plant back again gives me then, again, more leaves to the side. And we keep on going and going. So let's do that together. Now I have the, the last one all the way from the end. This one over here, the same, I will do the same. I see that there's a little note over here at the top, so I'm not gonna then remove the whole thing. I'm just gonna cut from the top. This one, the same, I see that there's a little note right here on the top, just like we said never cut from the top the, the bottom where you see a note because that will give you another leaf so we're gonna cut from the top removing that and that actually helps your plant to actually propagate to actually expand more so that will give me then more leaves for the side as i said we have had this plant for years and years and years i don't know seven seven years or so and so and from this baby plant over here <laughs> from this baby we got then three divisions we lost one and then we got another division so at the end of the day we have four total of the plants thank you
brings the dye. He's amazing. This is the leaf shine that I'm using. And this is what many designers use for, for floral arrangement. And it's just, you know, to give it a little extra shine. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know that I did. It's one of my favorite plants ever. <laughs> so I really enjoyed it. Sharing with you guys my love for the Vero Paradise. May you have an amazing day. Enjoy the day and enjoy the miracles. And if you like this video and enjoy this video, then go ahead and subscribe to our channel and share with your friends and family. Bye, until next Tuesday.